All right, peeps. I had to turn on the video camera and shoot a quick video with you real quick because I just watched the updates from Facebook Live and all the creating stuff that has just happened and they just launched. So if you have not picked up your phone, taken your Facebook app, logged out and logged back in to see the clean, sleek changes that has just happened to Facebook, you need to do that. Literally, this is, uh, there's, a, there's so many changes. This, they're calling this the biggest changes to Facebook that has happened in a very, very long time. It's called Facebook 5. And like I said, it has completely changed. And how is this going to affect you? And what were the main changes that had just happened? And how is this gonna work with YouTube? What's the competitor to YouTube? And all the different social components. So let's just dive into it real quick because the biggest changes that I see coming for business owners, for YouTube creators and groups and communication are the main elements here. So what has happened? Why, why am I seeing this as such a big deal? Well, the main focus that's gonna happen with Facebook is going to be in our groups. Not only are we gonna still communicate with all of our friends and family like normal, a lot of it's gonna be focused on the interests that we normally have. So let's just say that I'm interested in No Small Creator Group, which is a group that I'm associated with that is centered around vlogging. So people telling their stories, how they're telling their stories, how we interact with people, and they're, we're all creating and talking about how we can make our videos better, how we can increase sub counts on our YouTube channels. It's an amazing group that I'm part of. I love that group. It's very one of the very few groups that I'm associated with on Facebook that I really get a lot of value out of. Well, now they are centering it around our profiles on our Facebook. They're looking for different groups that we might be associated with in comments that we might make in our Facebook um, when we're putting out statuses, they will show us different groups that might meet our social engagements, whether that will be local or whether it'll be national, it's kind of irrelevant. They're really kind of boiling it down to groups in our communities that we might be associated with. Well, why is this important, Todd? Why, why should I care about a group or a community in the area? They're calling it the new virtual living room, which means that we're going to tie around our interest that we might meet in a social gathering outside of our Facebook groups. And if we don't, we'll meet in Facebook gatherings inside of our Facebook groups that will be interacting through our Messenger app, which I will share with you in just a second. It is actually a great play if you're a business owner to understand that if you're creating video content or if you're gonna create a group around your business that people can interact with, this is a huge change because people can be funneled into your group based on your interests, whether I'm posting I wanna eat a sub sandwich and all of a sudden, I'm getting a group based on say Pickleman's or some sort of group that's here in Kansas City that I can actually see deals for the day. The locality of it all is amazing to think about and how they're using the technology. It's sleek, it's clean, we are, everything's going to a more secure, the, the main word they kept saying is everything is gonna be about encryption and security, which leads us to the next thing would be the marketplace. So the marketplace that has blown up that we can interact with each other and make different sales is now going to be on the forefront of uh, creating a, a, a possibility that if you are a person that needs to sell things online, you are now gonna have an interactive marketplace. If you're doing t-shirts, if you're doing custom-made jewelry, people are gonna be able to actually order their stuff on your page and you're gonna actually accept payments right through Facebook and shipments and everything else. It's going to be completely autonomous. There's actually going to be an AI component that people will be able to log on and as they're communicating and starting to ask questions of whatever your, your wear is or whatever you're selling, the AI component will answer a few key questions to you while you're not even around. And then if you wanna go deeper into, hey, is this size come in this size or this color? then the AI component will notify you that you'll be able to answer the question. And then the shipments and the payments will all be automatic. It's absolutely mind boggling on how this is gonna come into creation. If you're a video creator or if you're making video content for your business, this even goes to the next level where we're actually gonna be able to do more stories and interaction. Video now becomes even a bigger component in creating different things. And then we're gonna 
basically come down to the Messenger app. So the Messenger app's getting all revamped, and why is this important? Is this if they have an AI component with the Message app, it's going to communicate through all platforms. So all platforms that Facebook is associated with. So if I wanted to reach out to a person on my Messenger app that is in Facebook, that's a Facebook friend, I can communicate. Through my Message app, I can actually communicate straight to a person that's on Instagram. Through my Messenger app, I can actually communicate straight to a person on WhatsApp. Before, we would have to go to Facebook to send a message, then go to my Instagram to send a message through Instagram to find a friend, and then go to my WhatsApp to send a message. Now, they've completely redesigned it. The Messenger app is going to go through all platforms at one time, and you can communicate to anyone, which means that if you have a group of people in this group or community that are customers of yours, you're going to be able to communicate directly with them encrypted that nobody else can see or can be swiped by hackers that you can say hey the deal of the day is this and it will go through all of them we're going to have the ability to finally communicate to all the people that we want in our groups versus before what would happen is is they would tailor make a message and it would only send out to specific numbers of people in groups now we're going to be actually communicate to them all at one time. It's it's an amazing change. They're calling it light speed. It is going to their main focus will be on the app and the app itself. I've been using other apps like Marco Polo to communicate through video and I'm an Android. Some people my friends are, you know, Apple users. Now through the Messenger app, we can have four or six people on the Messenger app itself, it'll be subdivided out. And I wanna say, like I'm creating a network marketing business and I was like, hey, I want us all to see this video together. Instead of going to Zoom conferencing, things like that, I can actually use the Message app, pull them in directly to the message. It will be subdivided into four characters uh, that we can all see each other. And at the top of your screen, we'll play a video so we can all watch the video at the same time. They're calling this the virtual living room. We can all communicate live at the same time and watch any kind of video content at the same time and com comment and answer questions with each other. There is a lot of changes happening with Facebook. Sometimes we sleep on Facebook because it's been around so long. They are completely reinventing themselves and the main word they kept saying over and over is security, 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 encryption, 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 meaning that not even governments can see the only person from the start to the end user, anything data in between is encrypted. So these two people are the only ones that can see the data created. It's absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to creating content on the new Facebook platform and using it through my new groups because I have a feeling that my engagement is gonna go a lot higher. And YouTube content's great. I create content one time and then I'll post it on my Facebook groups and then I'll post it on my YouTube content. The reason for why I do that is my engagement on YouTube is more searchable content. So if somebody's looking for the new Samsung S10 phone, they will type in new Samsung S10 phone and then all of a sudden they'll you know look at these videos. Whereas on Facebook, I can post the content and it'll have interactions and share. So my engagement is much higher on Facebook than it is on YouTube because YouTube's a search engine basically is another search engine um, along with Google. So they're two different formats, but I'm using YouTube to share the new changes with Facebook, which is an ironic thing in itself. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there was so much that was poured out in this live feed through Facebook in the F8 um, conference that they have going on right now. I just jotted down a few and I just, my mind started spinning on all the implications with businesses creating groups, the interactions that are getting ready to change. I'm not even talking about the new virtual reality components between two people. Like we literally will be able to sit in the same room looking at our cell phones and in between us, we can have a virtual reality of putting a box in the middle of the room and interacting in a game scenario while we both sit in the same room. There's a lot of things happening. Virtual reality in the next 24 months is going to be huge. Um, and the AI components of interacting with us is even going to be even a bigger component than it's been in the past where it's going to just going to like our a roofing company 
Um, somebody will log on and they'll have a quick question. The AI will answer automatically. It will actually work on scheduling and that interaction will be forwarded to me in a Facebook message that I didn't have to interact with the person. I just automatically got the lead generation. What is happening is going to be very big in the next 12 months. Um, and if a business is not paying attention and they're sleeping on Facebook and they're sleeping on making Facebook ads, they're missing out on a huge component. So it's good to be on top of the newest trends and what's happening. And you should log on right now, change your Facebook over and start looking at all the new stuff. So that being said, I had to get this out because especially my LinkedIn group, you guys, it's an amazing, amazing change right now. So looking forward to it. That being said, cheers. I'm out.